you most likely got your election ballot in the mail this week. If you live in the city of Seattle, one of the things on your ballot is Proposition 1. And even if you don't live in Seattle, listen up on this. Be curious as to what you think. It's a bill to appropriate funds for city parks. It's been overlooked since the recession of 2008. And I I thought after the recession, too, when things were really tough, it was not a time to ask for more money for anything. But now, in Seattle, we are becoming known worldwide as the fastest-growing city in America. Unemployment is now below 5%. In other words, and I feel bad for anybody who still can't find a job, by the way. This is not to say you don't matter, but it is to say... Things are relatively normal, and enough people are doing well. And if you're not doing well, wouldn't you like a nice park bench to sleep on? I mean, if is there a? By the way, I gotta ask. uh, We're gonna introduce Ken Bounds. He's a KJR listener, former Seattle Parks superintendent, and a current Washington State Parks and Recreation commissioner. And Ken uh, came in his backstage pass this morning. Uh, to talk about Proposition One and encourage you to vote yes if you're a Seattle voter. You're a Seattle voter, Spike. I am. You're a Seattle voter, Jody. Yes. Eric's a Seattle voter. Yes. Uh, Pedro, you're not, right? No, I can't. Move south, and I'm not. So we've got a, we've got four votes. I think can be in your pocket, even if you were promoting anything because you're a, a KJR listener. So yeah. that, that'll help. You're not pushing a park every 499 feet, are you, to keep the pot sales <laughs> <laughs> under control? That's no. my great fear. All right, uh, Ken Bounds, uh, welcome uh, to the Bob River Show. And uh, what a g- h- proposition one, exactly what does it want from us? Well, thank you, Bob, for having me here. It's a pleasure to be here, and uh, it's been fun listening to the, to the banter and the news. I didn't know about the uh, George Harrison We tree. banter like cows, you know what. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Well, Prop 1, I think, as you know, uh, everyone loves their parks, especially in Seattle and especially the last three weeks when the weather's been so absolutely Mm -hmm. fabulous. Uh, And now we have a chance for everyone to keep their parks lovable. Uh, All good. How deep do you want to get in my pocket? What do we need? Well, not too deep. (laughs) Let's talk about that. Not that much. Not too deep. No. As you may know, uh, the city has a, a parks levy that expires this year. Oh, so we're not asking for new money. We're, we're asking, asking you to keep giving what you were given before. Plus about $4 more a month so per, per $400,000 home. Okay. So if you own a $400,000 home, right now uh, you're paying money for a parks levy that's going to expire this year. Then in 2016, right. if Proposition 1 passes, there will be a new levy that will be uh, $0.33 cents per thousand assessed value, and that's about $4 a month more. For four hundred thousand dollar home. Got it. Okay, and uh, if you live in a home in Seattle, probably you enjoy going to parks. So Absolutely. what's going to happen? Are all these uh, George Harrison beetles going to come and infest all of our trees, and we won't be able to do anything? Like, if they don't fund this, what happens? Well, here, let me tell you what has happened. Uh, so since the recession, and really since the Tim Iman initiative, seven, uh, initiative seven forty seven back in the mid two thousands. Uh, the city's lost a uh, significant amount of tax revenue. For uh, parks. For par- Well, for parks and for lots of other things. Sure. But, Tim Iman's uh, not your favorite bobblehead. Well, you know, to, to be honest, uh, 747 passed statewide, but it didn't pass in Seattle. And I always oh. like to say we've, we're experiencing untaxation without representation. In other words, the money, came, the money got taken away from you even though Seattleites voted differently. Absolutely. Do you feel bad that you don't have a monorail, too? I always wear, wonder why <laughs> things don't go the way and why we have two stadiums. We voted one. for that, yeah. by the way. <laughs> Did we vote for the monorail, and, but and we didn't well, get it? Before we voted those, against it. Right? Yeah, yeah. Right. And we exactly. voted against those stadiums. But Lord, yeah. Lord, we sort of get the feeling no matter what you do that nobody cares. So, uh, so uh, the but, good thing about, yeah. about Prop 1, the really good thing about it is rather than having to go back every six years or eight years for a levy, a new levy, uh, this, this provides – uh, stable, dedicated funding for parks. It cannot be used for anything else. It can okay. only be used for parks. Now, and somebody it, also says this provides a, basically a blank check. I mean, that, that if this passes, there is no way of going back and reeling it back in. That's what the naysayers say. Blank is check is what the critics would say because it doesn't expire, right? right. That's that correct. Why they say what that? it does is is it, it, it is a, it's, it's most similar to what we 
did for 135 years, which is right. had a general fund that was supported by property taxes, sales taxes, B&O taxes. Mm. And as those property taxes got taken away by uh, initiative 747, we haven't really replaced them. Yeah. So this replaces that. And what happens during a recession and when the city council and mayor have uh, less money than they need is they're going to pay for police and fire. And we all appreciate that. It's too bad that our taxes have to go a little bit a la carte. But otherwise, all of the things that make America great, like parks, would, you know, unfortunately, the squirrels and the um, birds don't get to vote. That's right. It's just like kindergarten kids don't get to vote, and there would be no funding for education if we didn't do some school levies. So it's very important. It's very important. And and this is is a national trend. I mean, we've had... uh, uh, you know, park systems around the country have been cut back drastically. State parks has been cut drastically yeah. in trying to fund education and come up with the money for, you know, foster care and for other important uh, What's your human favorite needs. Seattle park, uh, Ken? Well, you know, I used to uh, not be able to answer that question when I was park superintendent. But oh, you, know, you can't, because that would be favoritism. <laughs> be like children. Obama. So, What's your favorite state? <laughs> right, exactly. I love them all. Bro's got a check. So now, now I can answer that. And, uh, the one I use the most is Alki, because I walked down the hill. And I Beautiful. Was just yesterday to walk down that. But my other favorite one is Kubota Gardens in southeast Seattle. Oh, and yeah. How many Where of you have been to Kubota? Uh, I used to live around the corner. It's yeah. sort of near Skyway and Renton and Seward Park. Right it's right at the south end of the city. It has beautiful. gardens attached to it. Yes, it's an it's it's a. Why former... don't they grow something they can exchange for a little cash? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, we've suggested that as a possible cash crop. Yeah, yeah. Really, that doesn't go over very well, <laughs> like a cow burp in church. Right. All right, uh, Ken, thank you very much. Your favorite park, Jody? Uh, I'd have to say Lincoln Park, West Seattle. Spike. All right. Ooh, Magnuson. Eric. Carkeek. You guys, if you want to save your parks, uh, do vote for Prop 1. Eh, you know what? And why should they have to go back and get the levy renewed all the time? You blank checkers can go blank yourself, as far as I'm concerned. If you're a homeowner, yeah. you benefit from the great course. services of the city. So. Uh, 953. Thank you.